ahead of Emerging Markets Renewable Energy Forum in March this year, I have been joined by David Kennedy, CEO of the Committee for Climate Change, to talk to me a little bit about some of the key developments in the market. David, can we first of all touch on some of the key things that you're seeing in the market at the moment? Well, if we take a step back and just say uh, at the European level, we have a long-term emissions reduction target, 80% mm -hmm. uh, by 2050 on 1990 levels. Now, at the heart of that is uh, a low-carbon power sector and moving through early investment in the set of low-carbon technologies. Within that, there is a major role for renewables, uh, whether we're talking about wind generation in the UK, whether we're talking about wind elsewhere, solar in other countries and possibly marine in the future there is a major role for renewables. Okay, and if we think about what we've seen happening in Germany and Spain, where there's been significant investment into those sectors, and we've also had the government um, incentivise players there, do you think that if we're looking at the UK market, that banks and fund managers are actually enough incentivised to invest in that market? And if not, what can we actually do to, to make sure that investment is taking place? Well, I've said renewable power generation is at the heart of moving to a low carbon economy. Now, whether we are successful getting investment in renewables will depend on the policies in place. And there are different policies across the, the countries. Now, I think the uh, uh, incentives to invest are reasonably strong out mm -hmm. to 2020. There's a great deal of uncertainty as you go past 2020. But that's a problem because if you're thinking about supply chain investment, well, you need some visibility going beyond 2020 in order to make that investment. If you're thinking about project development, uh, in a few years' time, you will stop developing projects for the period after 2020 uh, unless you've got more confidence about what will happen then. Now, in terms of uh, uh, providing uh, confidence to investors, uh, if you look at the UK electricity market reforms, for example, uh, that will improve cash flows for projects in the pipeline at the moment. Again, there is this question of longer term visibility. But even with stronger cash flows, there is a question around uh, where is the finance for the projects going to come from? Uh, I think if you look at the situation, particularly in the UK, uh, we need uh, project finance uh, for major investments in offshore wind. It's not clear that banks are prepared to provide project finance, uh, particularly at the construction stage of, mm. of projects. It's not clear that institutional investors uh, are going to step in and fill the gap. So at the moment, I think you could say we're a bit worried about where the finance will come from. Where would you like to see it come from? Well, I mean, th there are different people who can put money in from funds mm. to uh, institutional investors to banks, but whether the conditions are in place at the moment uh, to uh, bring the funds forward uh, from those investors is not clear. It may take a role for government. So, for example, in the UK, the Green Investment Bank may need to guarantee uh, some of those other investors. Alternatively, UK infrastructure pr could provide those guarantees. In other countries, in Germany, it may be that KFW has mm. to provide guarantees for project finance. Great, David, thank you so much for that.